Hello, Maureen here from Premier Wine Training. Um, I give wine courses quite a lot, but I think it's also important uh, to keep on studying and keep on learning more about wine, because in actual fact, the wine world is constantly changing, um, and it's important to keep up with that. So with that in mind, um, while in the Algarve, in the southern part of Portugal, I took some, um, made some visits to some wineries. One of the ones I went to yesterday was in Portimao, it's a little estate, um, family owned and run, very, very small production. Um, and they make this particular wine called Foral de Portimao, which means the charter of Portimao. And there's a lovely story going back um, to the history of the Portimao region and the King's Charter of the area. Um, while I was there, I was talking with Zhao, the owner, and um, I was really impressed by the quality of winemaking. He explained to me that in this region they grow local grape varieties, so this particular wine is a blend of Torica Nacional, which is the famous uh, Portuguese grape variety. It's also Alicante Boucher, roughly about uh, 46% 40 to 48% of each. And the balance, a very small percentage, is made up of Petit Verdot, that lovely uh, French grape variety. Um, and in tasting the wines, I was really impressed by how fruit-driven the wines are. Um, and particularly, <clears throat> their use of oak and the clean fruit coming through in the wine. Um, if you smell this wine already, actually before you smell it you should look at it, you can see the legs or the tears in the wine, um, which is often an indicator of alcohol. Not necessarily a bad thing, but once it's in balance with the other components, it can be quite attractive. So. It's actually a lovely sort of uh, ruby colour. On the nose it's really quite profound and if you like um, full-bodied reds with uh, quite a lot of earthiness and fruit and tannin and structure to them then wine, good quality wines from this region and there are plenty of them out there I can assure you are probably ones to go for. So lovely rich uh, warm heat, um, almost port-like smells coming from it, but not, not too much, it's not too heavy-handed. Lovely pepperiness, bramble uh, fruit character. You can really, really smell the wood coming through this. And this wine is spent about eight months in oak, a mixture of French oak and American oak. And uh, Zhao is explaining to me the term reserva. Actually, in Portugal, it means that the wine is uh, a year old and it must have spent six months in oak and six months in bottle before it's released, which is a nice feature um, of the reserva law in Portugal, that it actually means something. So let, I'm going to have a taste of this wine now. Mm. On the palate, it's medium bodied but it's actually quite expansive. In that, I mean that the flavours really develop on the palate. It starts off by being lovely and brambly, and you can really feel the firm tannins, the chewiness in the wine, on the sides of your gums. Then these peppery flavours take over, lovely sort of uh, prickle of pepper on the palate. Then you have this lovely, uh, almost sweet sensation. Now it's not sweetness per se, but it's a, a sweet character to the wine, which comes from the vanilla um, oakiness that's being used on this wine. And then the finish on this wine, there's a lovely sensation of warmth, of heat, uh, fruit. It really actually puts you in mind of, of being somewhere in a warm, sunny climate. Um, I have to say I was really impressed with the character and with the flavour. I'm just contemplating the length of flavour on this wine. It's absolutely gorgeous. But, but as I was saying, I was really impressed by the quality of the uh, wines that I tasted here in the Algarve. So as I said, if you like that lovely uh, full-bodied, fruit-forward style, look to the Algarve, um, pop in and pay some of these wineries visits when you're down here. And ask for the wines when you go back home. They're really very nice.